we were at um, Bridge Street Church, as Ron was saying, and you talk about gentrification. Um, Bridge Street Church was founded by gentrifiers, you know, and if you look at their anniversary al albums over the years, you see folks in their starch white shirts and their suits and their dresses, and these are solid middle-class people who are making the area better around, around them. Um, but what's happening now and what I hear is really more than just gentrification making the area better. It's almost like the end result of an ongoing racial warfare, frankly, between um, uh, so that, and it's sort of wrapped in class struggle and it's called gentrification. Um, what's happened is that over the decades and over the centuries, when African Americans were kept away from the uh, ability to earn money from land grants, from agricultural grants, from um, farm subsidies, from contracts, mortgages, just not, 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 not to mention jobs, so that the income, so that the wealth that was, has been generated over these th decades was generated as a, at a period when African Americans could not participate in a massive way. So that um, um, now we have these trillions of dollars transferring between gen generations, and we see y young folks, young, young white folks, moving into a areas, and it speaks to the bitterness that you, you, you're speaking about, Judge, is that um, uh, folks say, gee whiz, this person is only 30 years old, and they bought this $2 million home, and the money just seems to come, uh, $3,000 a month for an apartment. Yeah, sure, I, I can do that. And it's, um, so it is, it does cause that kind of bitterness. And well, you know, what is the solution? You can't be, as Marx says, a victim and just throw up your hands. Uh, I think um, part of the solution is in what the professor was talking about. C city budget from January to November 5th was a total of uh, $13.1 billion. Of that, about 4.4% went to uh, certified uh, women minority business enterprises. Of that 4.4%, Asian Americans got $321 million, Caucasian women got $191 million, Hispanic Americans got $59 million, and black Americans got $33 million. So that when you look at that, that number and you say, well, gee, um, as the professor was saying, um, uh, if the city invested a, a proper proportion of its budget in, in with African Americans, uh, we would have the economic power to buy the houses, to stay in the houses, to provide jobs. Small businesses are the structures that produce the most jobs. So that um, uh, one of the solutions would be to demand of the political structure, you're talking about making go governmental change, that they um, take this MWB program and not speak of it as the de Blasio administration says, look at what we've done with the MWBE program, how la large it is, but how, what does it mean for the African American community? And it doesn't matter if you have a $600 million MWBE program and African Americans are getting $30 million from that. Um, of a $12 billion budget, we should have a billion dollars worth of business. So that's where I think some of the solution could, could come from.